Let's talk about Section 10, Grounding and Bonding of the Canadian Electrical Code, Rule 104, called Spacing and Interconnection of Grounding Electrons. It's electrodes. It says that where multiple grounding electrons, electrodes are used, they should be separated by at least two meters from each other. And they should, of course, be bonded together with a conductor. Uh, this is important because um, the advantage of having more than one electrode is definitely realized only when they're spaced only two meters apart because a grounding electrode requires a minimum of one meter of radial space around it for dissipation of any electrical potential into the earth. If you make those electrical, uh, those electro electrodes closer than two meters from one another, there's not going to be enough earth between those electrodes to provide a low resistance connection to earth for each rod and the electrical potential would not fully be discharged into the earth. Since a fault can occur between one of these grounding systems and the building electrical wiring systems, then the grounding electrodes of the two systems must be interconnected to prevent grounding loops and circular currents from occurring between these different grounding and bonding systems. Um, that's why they need to be uh, interconnected. This interconnection offers that low impedance path for any of the fault current and enables the quick operation of those uh, uh, overcurrent connection um, devices. So this item B is going to make sure that um, the interconnection of those grounding electrodes are going to extend um, the equal, equal potential. Um, they must be made of a material prescribed for grounding conductors. And remember, that's in Rule 10.112 for grounding conductors. And they must be sized according to grounding conductors. Uh, sized according to grounding conductors means they must not be smaller than number six if they're copper or number four if they're aluminum. Uh, this in, the inter, interconnection conductor uh, between the two of them uh, is to be protected from mechanical damage as well. So that means let's make sure that that is a buried conductor that's going to go from one uh, electrode to the other electrode. Let's install it below grade. Uh, for it to not be damaged means uh, that it would be below grade according to rule 10. Uh, sorry, section 10, rule 104, subsection C. Um, and this is also going to um, uh, help protect it um, in the case of in the case of a lightning protection system. Um, it should be interconnected the same way as well.